All right, enough of you, aka one person, wanted me to do a tutorial on how to make animatable Dandy's World rigs like the ones that I made. So let's do this. Okay, first things first, open Roblox Studio. If you're clever, you can figure out where this is headed. Create a new experience, type Dandy's World into the search bar, and you should see this. This is a library of every tune, every twisted, every skin in Dandy's World. So you'll have quite everything you need. If this counts as stealing, I'm sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. Now, let's find Dandy. Now we need to export this model. So click on him to select it then find him in the sidebar right over here. Now, when you right click it on the sidebar, you can see that we have the option to export it. And if you try to do it, you can see it exports to an OBJ file, which is a kind of model file. Great, so we just export the thing, right? Wrong. You may not have noticed this before, but the model is made up of several different parts. Look at the arm. If you look very closely, you can see that the upper arm, forearm, and hand are all entirely different pieces. So to make your life a lot easier, it is best to export these pieces one at a time into separate OBJ files. Open the menu with this little button here and select each part one by one and export them. I suggest you put them into a folder so they aren't like cluttering your desktop. If you want to get these models without what might be stealing, then you can try and do a tracing thing with these reference sheets that you can find on the wiki, which means they're totally valid for public use, I think. Anyway, whether you traced your models, made your own somehow, or committed piracy, it's now time to rig. Note for those who made their own models within Blender. If you didn't separate yours into parts like the original, this rigging method will not work for your models, and you'll need to find a rigging tutorial made by an actual pro. Sorry, that's just not how I do things around here, because I am dumb. So those who exported the files from Roblox like me, now it's time to open Blender. If you don't use Blender, then tough luck, I guess. Now go up to File, and go down to Import. Navigate your way over to Wavefront, which is OBJ. Now you just need to find your models. You'll notice that it's not just OBJ files in here. There's also MTL. Well, Wavefront... Well, Wavefront files have two different parts, the OBJ, or object file, which contains data for the shape of the object, and the MTL, or material, which affects how it looks in your renders. For our dear dandy, this is going to be what makes his body beige, his limbs green, his petals gay, and his face... So we want to import all of this. And then you'll see... A dot. So this is the origin point for all of the models. To find your models, you will need to zoom way out. And then you'll see Gray Dandy. Now the reason why he's so far off is because that's how he was in Roblox relative to the sort of center of the world. So simply just move him over and get him centered. All right, now we're ready for rigging. So the next step is to create an armature. Now those of you who know what it is are probably thinking, wait, wasn't the point of this whole thing to try and avoid an armature? No! Armatures are a blessing upon animators, and they make things so much easier. What we were looking to avoid was having to control one mesh with multiple bones. So you'd have to do weight painting, and that just sucks. So first we need to get our armature set up. Quickly, by the way, go to the viewport display settings of it and turn on in front. And if you don't want these stupid octahedral bones, you can set it to stick bones. Now let's just get the rig set up. Basically just do what I'm doing here and you shouldn't really have any problems. If you need to move them over a little bit, that's fine. Just make sure to select all the dandy models, but not the armature, and then move him a bit until he's centered. And now comes the part where we set up inverse kinematics. If you don't know what that is, then f you. But basically it's like you have a floating target bone, and a chain of other bones follows it. It's, it's really cool. So, set up six IK bones like this. One for each arm, hand, and leg. The thing you'll probably want to do is make them look different so that you can tell which bones are the IK targets. So, create an empty object. You can do whichever of these you want. I just like the sphere. And uh, hide it. Just hide it. Then go into pose mode. Select one of your IK bones. Then go into the bone menu here. Select viewport display. Go down to custom shape. And then find your sphere. And it looks like a sphere. If this looks too big, which for me it does, you can just scale that down a little bit. Do this for all the other ones. Now it's time to set up the actual inverse kinematics. So go into the hand bone. Then go into bone constraints. Do not do object constraints. 
That is very different. And now choose inverse kinematics. Importantly, set your chain length to one. Zero does not mean zero, it means infinity. Select the object here as your armature and the bone as your hand IK bone. And now it works as such. Now do this for the arm bone and set the chain length to two. And now this should be working as well. Do the same for the leg bone and for all the other IK bones. And presto, you have IK. Now it is finally time to get this dandy actually rigged because while the armature exists, it doesn't actually control the dandy model. We need to to set that up. So let's set that up. So select the body, then select the armature, then go into pose mode and select the body bone. Press control P, press control P for parenting and select bone. Now do this for pretty much everything else. Oh, importantly for the head, select both the head and the pedals before parenting them to the head bone. Now one last thing, these weird black dotted lines here, these are going from the bones to the origin points of this model. Remember how they were super off center? Yeah, it's going to those. We don't need that and they bug me to no end. So just go up here and disable relationship lines. And just like that, rigged dandy. This process isn't too different for the others, but some of them are complex enough that I might make a separate video for special case tunes like Astro's cap and stuff. But if you can figure that out on your own, well, good for you. Either way, have fun as a Dandy's World animator.